My darling, my sweet, oh, don't hate me, please, if I tell you your feet smell like mushy French cheese. I don't get it. Irma Platt's read to him from a little blue book, then they started wrecking stuff again. Of course! She's controlling the pixies by threatening them with Pat Exing's poetry. Obviously, it causes them pain for some reason. Yeah, it does that to pretty much everyone, Dave. Clearly, only the awesome power of poems can save the day! Thinking quickly, Dave constructs a homemade megaphone using only some string, a squirrel, and a megaphone. Attention, filthy pixies! I command you to leave this kingdom on pain of... Poetry! <clears throat> My ears have wax. So waxy, waxy, I think I'm going to hail a taxi. <laughs> Yes, the atrocious poetry drives the filthy pixies back from whence they came! So, Dave, you thought you could dump me and remain unscathed? You fool! <laughs> Dave isn't here. Sorry, I, I don't like to wear my glasses when I'm committing unspeakable acts of evil. They make me look bookish. Does anyone else hear the sound of hundreds of filthy pixies approaching in terrible pain? Eat your vegetables. They'll make you grow up. Unless they're rotten, then you might throw up. <laughs> Incredible. I've spent years in search of poetry horrible enough to control the filthy pixies. Where did you find such brilliantly awful poems? Um, well, I wrote them. Maybe we still have a chance together, Dave. Anyone who writes poetry that bad can't be all good. You mean that in a nice way, right? You haven't seen the last of me, Dave the Barbarian. Take this to remember me by. Goodbye, my evil love. <sighs> Goodbye. The complete works of Pet Xing. Hey! Someone tore out the last page. Whoa! <laughs> Curse you, evil princess Irma Blotz! <laughs> Curse you! Hi, I'm Dave the Barbarian. <laughs> and this is my peculiar scaly chum, Faffy. <laughs> I'm sure many of you are wondering why I tied a squirrel to a megaphone. Well, goodbye! 